What's going on guys? So check this thing out. This is an all new 2024 Jayco Pinnacle fifth wheel. This is super cool. A lot of really great things going on here. We're gonna take a closer look at this one. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so before we get started, one thing I wanna point out before we get to the numbers, this is gonna come equipped with a lot of really great features. First of all, it's gonna have an anti-lock brake system on it, which is really nice. It's gonna have sway mitigation, as well as a towable odometer. Check that out. And that's all part of the Dexter Tow Assist ABS and sway mitigation system. That is super cool. This is something that RVs have needed for a long time. It's super cool to see that they're equipping it with that. Okay, let's look at the numbers. It's gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 18,000 pounds. This bad boy's kind of heavy. Twin 8,000 pound axles, 17 and a half inch tires, H-rated tires, and 2,110 pounds worth of cargo capacity. This thing is equipped very well. It's got the surround view Furion camera system, has an upgraded rubber pin box from Moride. That's a good setup. You can see it's missing one of the feet down here. This is the new Lippert hydraulic system too. So you may have seen some videos on it. it has some lights down below to kind of illuminate where the feet are, but it's supposed to be a pretty, uh, pretty revolutionary system in terms of what it's capable of from an auto leveling perspective. Again, you can see one of your cameras here, full body paint. They've even painted the side of the slide outs. What's kind of interesting if you look at it from this angle right here is that there's a slide right here but there are no more slides going all the way back on this side, which a lot of people will really like because from the campsite perspective where you're gonna have you know, your fire pit, your barbecue and all that set up, oftentimes people don't want the slide sticking out into that area. And then you have these two huge awnings plus a slide top awning right here. But these big awnings right here kick off the side and give you all of this nice shade covering pretty much all the way down the side of the RV, which is really cool. You have your Truma AquaGo water heater. It's an on-demand water heater. All right, let's see what we're looking at from a tire's perspective before we hop in. So this has, are those Uniroyal? Uniroyal 215.75 R17 and a half inch H-rated tires. That is a really good setup. All right, let's hop inside. So first of all, they have the Moride step above steps with the assist. Makes them really easy to lift up whenever you're trying to stow them. Okay, so now we are inside of this unit, kind of pan around a little bit. I got to tell you, you know, from a evolutionary perspective, the fit and finish quality and craftsmanship of Jayco products has really, really gone up. They've done a great job evolving their products, so it's not just about the cosmetic looks, such as, you know, the ABS, the sway mitigation, all of that stuff, the H-rated tires, 8,000 pound axles. Again, they've done a lot to make their RVs more substantial in terms of the construction. A lot of windows here. I love this area. Check this out. This is so different than what you typically see. So it has this kind of center island with a contrasting dinette that's kind of built into this space. And I feel like this should slide or move somehow. Something, something happens here and I think it slides. Maybe it's locked in place. But it seems like it slides this way or it slides that way. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out here in a second. You have cabinetry underneath here as well. This is a very, very interesting floor plan. You have your dishwasher right here also. Pull out trash can. Not soft closing drawer there, but that is a soft closing drawer. And let's see what's going on here. Again, I see this track system. That pops out. Check that out. So I guess that's how you get to your cabinetry right here. But that is really cool. And they put several stops along the way right here so you can lock this into different positions. You know, this is just an interesting setup. I've never seen this before in a fifth wheel or any RV to be honest, where you can move and slide the table to give yourself more room here, or you can close it off so you can use it as more of like a four person dinette. What do you guys think of that? Nice little storage area there with some power, USB. Great spot for a coffee maker. Have some real tile right here. It also extends around the kitchen into this space. You have your four burner. This looks like the new Suburban or Greystone. Which one is this? They don't have a brand on this one. Unless I'm just not seeing it. But I believe Suburban makes this. Nice cabinetry all around. Residential convection microwave. So 
soft closing drawers. Here's more on the tow assist. I'll take a look at this in case you want to pause it and see what this is all about. It's J voice, so you can turn things on like your lights, as well as your main AC and secondary AC. That's very cool. Again, the evolution of this unit is pretty phenomenal. Looks like we have three air conditioning units in here. You have a whisper quiet up front. All right, so stepping up here into the living area, you can see you have two opposing sofas, and these are actually sofas, so that is really cool. Plus, your theater seating, which is right here, kind of a different take on it. You have a front window with a blackout shade over it. You have some good storage here. More storage there on both sides. These are, are they power reclining? I can't really tell. Yep, these are power reclining, massaging, and illuminating chairs. Over here you have your fireplace, televator, which pops up. More storage. More storage. And you have an insignia TV here as well. I love the color tones in here. This is really nice. You have the Helix cooling system, Whisper Quiet. Then over here you have your wine guard gateway. This is going to be your 4G gateway. All right, I love this transition piece right here. This is really nice and it feels like solid wood. Coming down. All right, let's check out this room. So you have a half bathroom in here. A lot of people will appreciate that. Nice mirror, medicine cabinet. A lot of countertop space right there. And that looks like it's real tile. That is real tile backsplash. You have your GE residential refrigerator right here, side by side. Over here, you have some nice storage. And then on this side, you're gonna have your control panel. So this will control pretty much everything from lightings to your water heater, your uh, water pump, everything, um, including your monitors. All of that stuff is gonna be right here. You have all of your light switches. All right, stepping up into the bedroom area. Really nice king size bed. Another whisper quiet air conditioning system back here. This area, you have a TV already mounted on the wall. Some more storage right here, plus a lot of storage down below. Little sitting area. You have a charging station with a 12 volt outlet. That's kind of cool. I guess that's a good spot where you would plug in the, uh, the camera observation. Yep, that's exactly what it's for. They give you a 12 volt plug here so you can plug in your surround camera system and use it as a surveillance. You have some wardrobe storage here plus some drawers below. You have another sliding door right here. Really nice. It's actually two doors. Check out this bathroom. This is a beautiful bathroom. Porcelain foot flush toilet, of course. Nice bowls for your sinks. A lot of countertop space below. All solid surface, so this is all like a quartz material. You have your mirrors on the wall. You don't have medicine cabinets. I kind of wish that you did have medicine cabinets up here. There's plenty of room for them, and it would just give you that much more storage. Give you two shelves here, nice cornered window. Soft closing drawers. Again, I love the combination of colors and tones in here. So you have your whites, you have your neutral grays. You go back there, you have some of your dark tones, your browns, your blacks. They've just done a fantastic job with the colors. And check out this shower. Encore shower stall, multiple head sprayers with a wand. This is an absolutely fantastic bathroom space. Could definitely, definitely like an RV with this type of a bathroom in it. What do you guys think? And then in here is probably a spot for your washer and dryer. So you have shelves that can be removed and then you have your washer and dryer connection. This looks like it'll fit a stackable unit as well. None of the cabinetry is soft closing, but the drawers are. I kind of wish the cabinets were as well, especially in a unit like this. I like the end tables next to the bed. 
All right, let's go check out the outside of this unit. So real quick, MSRP on a unit like this, $184,000. You heard me right, these are not low cost units and you can see that they're doing a lot to compete against some of your more premium units. So the Pinnacle is the highest end Jayco fifth wheel you can get and they're definitely demonstrating that, especially with the full body paint, some of the upgrades in terms of driving capabilities, the anti-lock brake system, the anti-sway control systems, all of that stuff. But let's take a closer look at the outside of this unit and see what it's all about. So we know up front we got the rubber pin box. We know that it's prepped for a generator. This has four 40 pound LP can storages. So that is crazy. So 120 pounds worth of propane that you can carry on board, which I think is, is pretty dang remarkable. Front storage area. I do wish they, they would go with the slightly thicker or heavier duty baggage door. They feel heavy, they feel dense, but they're relatively thin. So they probably make up for thickness with density, I'm imagining. You have a TV that slides out right here. So this TV will slide out so you can watch TV outside, which is pretty nice. You have a reasonable size storage area here. This does ride on a drop frame below, and that drop frame is gonna give you the height that you might want for extra storage, but overall storage down here isn't, isn't that crazy. Then if you take this screw out right here, you have access to pretty much all of your controls, all of the electronics that control everything inside. You know, everyone's always asking what wiring looks like. I can tell you that wiring here is pretty dang clean. It's all color coded. It's all hung really well. This is not a show unit either. So, you know, this is a unit that somebody might actually purchase. I know a lot of times you see how they duct the heat into the storage area. They actually put a vent on it in here. In some cases, they just have an open vent pointing into the space. But they've done a good job of really making the wiring clean in this unit. Even how they route it around here. Seems simple, but a lot of RV manufacturers miss out right there. Nice slam latch, Schwintec slide mechanism up here. Again, the Truma AquaGo on-demand water heating system. Moride step above steps. This is gonna have the Moride, so this is gonna be the LRE 4000 suspension system. So this is essentially a big rubber bushing that gives you like four inches worth of travel on each side. It's a very, very good upgrade. Got heavy duty shackle straps, greasable wet bolts, and you can see how this whole structure right here is reinforced to support the suspension system. So I definitely appreciate that. Again, Uniroyal tires, 215.75 R17 and a half H rated tires. Really, really good setup. Also has tire pressure monitoring system on it. You're gonna have some belly storage here. So this has a raised deck and this is where all your storage goes. Check this out. You have your road vac right here, central vacuuming system. You have a JBL sound system. Again, name brand stuff. This isn't cheap stuff. And these doors are pretty dang dense. Very heavy duty slam latch, as you can probably tell. And back here, you're gonna have an outside kitchen with sink. You know me, if it doesn't have a sink, it's not an outside kitchen. I love the sink here. I love the fact that they have your compact refrigerator plus a nice skillet that will actually pull out this way, which is really cool. So it gives you a very, very functional, good size outside kitchen. You have your speakers down here as well. Super heavy duty slam latches. I mean, check this out. That's how you can tell how dense the door is. You have the J Smart lighting system. So this is essentially where all the lights on one side of the RV will blink with the corresponding blinker. Really nice. You have a fiberglass cap here on the back. LED lighting, very automotive looking from the back of this unit. You have your camera already in place and that's a Furion camera. You have your two inch receiver with light controls back here as well. So you can actually do some towing with it. You have a 3000 pound tow capacity, two inch receiver, 300 pound hitch weight capacity, and it is wired with the four pin wiring harness. I don't recommend towing behind a fifth wheel though, but it is prepped for it. Okay, coming around this way. Well, first of all, you have your ladder going up to the top, all frameless windows. These do not appear to be insulated windows. These are standard frameless windows. It would be nice at this price point to have the insulated dual pane windows on it. Nice thick baggage door right here. A lot of storage back here on this side. This is a great spot for storage because this is essentially where you can put all your sewer stuff, all your electrical stuff, everything that you need to store that typically has to be walked from the front to the back, 
to go here, all your sewer hoses especially, everything related to that. Plus, you could probably put folding e-bikes back here, scooters, tables, whatever you want. Just a lot of room back here. You have an electric cord reel. Up here, you have a Schwintec slide mechanism here. Gray and black holding tanks. Another gray tank right there. This right here is going to be access to... That's interesting. I'm not exactly sure, actually. This isn't clearly telling me what this door is for. You got more storage here as well. This is that same pass-through storage you saw from the other side. And then this will probably be to winterize your refrigerator. Yep, back your refrigerator. This is a really, really nice fifth wheel. Over here is the outside of your furnace. And here is your wet bay. Nautilus panel, auto leveling system. And you have a whole house water filtration system. Plus you have a five gallon tote here so you can bring your own water with you. This is very nice. And then two more propane cans go right there. But what do you guys think? Certainly not an inexpensive unit. It is very large. I would definitely again recommend at least a one ton single rear wheel truck. You want to have at least about 4,300 pounds worth of cargo capacity. And then you're still going to want to be careful how much you load into it because this is going to be very heavy when everything is said and done. Anyways, guys, please leave a comment below. I would love to know what your thoughts are. And this is the Jayco Pinnacle Model 38 FLGS. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.